Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on advanced Fortran programming. Now in this tutorial, we will be seeing how uh, an example of how to pass functions uh, and subroutines inside into other functions and subroutines as dummy arguments. Okay, sounds. I suppose I am sound, sounding clear. Okay, uh, okay. Before we go to that, I'll exp I just have a small program over here and uh, we'll walk i'll walk you guys through as i explain the concept down along now uh, in the one of the previous programs we saw how to pass the uh, vari how to pass variables into a function or a subroutine uh, mostly function a uh, function and use the function as a dummy way and uh, use the function in such a manner that the variables become dummy all right now uh, there is this feature in fortran wherein you can pass uh, uh, very functions as dummy arguments inside them okay and when you pass them when you pass them you can uh, uh, you can uh, you know use them in several man say whichever way you want use them in whichever way you mean you want with a different name okay now uh, before uh, before I go to before I go to that and explain a little more deeply okay I'll walk you guys through the program so you guys understand I have two variables n and r set to be 6 and 4. I have two integers per and com of kind integer 8. Integer 8. I have an integer of kind 8 and, ext and it's, I mean it's an external function fact. Okay. And I have this and commented this out. And I have an external function called a sign S I N E. I set x to be 0. I have two values y1 and y2. And I set and I define. Okay the intrinsic function cos with this keyword intrinsic okay now this will be used for passing the function as uh, an arg dummy argument function as a dummy argument into another function over here okay now y1 is sine of x no question no no I mean it's not a big it's that simple now y2 will be sine s i n e okay in an inside that function you're passing x and you're passing cos into it now uh, the thing is, what you're doing here is that you're doing the cost function, the intrinsic cost function, as an argument into the uh, into the into this function sign s i n e, okay. And what I'm doing, okay. Now uh, this this is so far okay, and this is the fact function that's okay, okay. That's fine. But uh, let's have a look at the sign function first of all, s i n e function first of all. Now, if you guys look at this, this is the sign function. It's fairly straightforward. Now, what I have here is that I get the value x with an intent n, and it's real, okay? And I set the function which I'm getting over here with the keyword external. I'm not using intent or intent or intent keywords like intent in or intent in out or intent out over here. I'm just using this keyword external over here. Now, I'm just printing the value of x when it as it enters in, just to see whether the values are fine, same or not. And then I'm using sign as the I'm um, setting sign as the fun as the function value function of f. Okay, so it's a the function I'm using the function like directly with the value x. All right, with uh, with the past value x. Simple enough. Okay. Now if you guys notice the in, uh, in if you guys notice the ingenuity of this function is that uh, this f need this f can have any definition. It can be the sign function, it can be intrinsic function or, a, or an extrinsic function like this itself, okay? But because of this kind of a definition, okay, you can literally pass any function into another into this function. But it should return only one value, but you can pass any function into this fun function and uh, as long as it takes a single argument into it, all right? Now, that's the specialty of this and because of this feature over here, F is, F is treated as an argument over here. Now uh, you can change the nature of the nature of this function f depending on your condition or need. Okay, and when even when you change any of them, okay, you don't have to modify this function sign si any function at all. That's the advantage of passing dummy arguments. And uh, and right now this function sign s i n e actually passes the cos fun intrinsic function cos in it okay you might ask me why should i pass a intrinsic function now into another function okay well suppose you suppose you if you have a need let's say 
okay i cannot think of uh, think of think of uh, you know a need where in you uh, need where in you have to pass an intrinsic function which is already available in to any library or any fun- function in fortran or any subroutine in fortran i don't think of any uh, example where you can you need to pass this an external argument but just a thought okay and just uh, this is more of an information kind of a thing suppose if you want to pass an int cast function like this yeah but i do have a need suppose if you want to check if you want to uh, if you want to pass any kind of function into it into it into another function like this you may have to check it with uh, sign function or cosine function or any inbuilt functions also okay suppose if you're building a, let's say a new algorithm or something to find the square root of a function square root of a value or a, you know the cosine of a value let's say and if you want to compare this with your algorithm and your algorithm and the already pre-built inbuilt algorithm that's used for defining the cost function okay in those kind of cases if you want to compare them in the same function or something of that sort something of that sort then you may have to pass this intrinsic cost function into the other cost function okay now suppose if the sign function inside the sign function you define it in such a manner that uh, uh, it calculates the it calculates the cosine function cosine function using a new algorithm and you want to compare how accurate this functions ca- calculation of sign and this functions calculation uh, this in in this fun- i mean this function calculation of cosine function value and this functions inbuilt functions calculation of cosine value let's say as uh, they want to be the same or not okay same or not then it's then in those case and cases you may have to pass an intrinsic function li- as an external argument kind of a thing it's just an example that can that came to the top of my mind so nothing much okay suppose uh, if uh, sub- the thing is if i had to pa- if if suppose if we do not include this intrinsic function okay and i pass this cost function just like that if i were to compile this i'll i will get an error over here i will possibly get an error over here okay okay and now i'll possibly get a uh, possibly get an error over here okay uh, so what i have to do is that if i were to if i had to pass if i were if i ha- if i uh, if i am in a compulsion to pass compulsion to pass uh, intrinsic function into an, into another function or a subroutine then i must definitely declare it intrinsic okay now let's look at this percom uh, subroutine over here okay uh, for that i use this function in, in function uh, fa- uh, this dummy function uh, fact uh, which fact for calculating the factorial what i do is that i just pass the n as a dummy argument over here i define fact as 1 okay if n is less than or equal to 0 i set fact to be 1 fair enough simple enough but if fact is when if n is not equal to 0 and it's hopefully it's greater than one or oh, if, if hopefully it's one or greater than one okay then the uh, okay let me set this less than or equal to one okay this this will work fine if it's less than or equal to one it's fact one if it's if it's uh, you know uh, if it's great if it's two or great two or two or above okay this do loop will get ca- this do loop will run till the till the end times and calculate the value and send it off okay and this factorial function okay will is used in the subroutine over here okay i'm getting two values n comma r i'm getting a uh, two out values a p per com per and com and i'm ex- defining this subroutine in this subroutine defining this factorial function as external external now i'm using the func- using the function like using the function to calculate the per- permutation using this general formula and com- since combination is actually permutation divided by f and r factorial i am just using that instead of calculating this again i'm just using that simple as simple as that you know now if you guys look at the ingenuity of in, in the genuinity of this program and reusability of this program because because i defined uh, fa- a fact to be external over here okay and i'm passing this fact to be over here okay i don't i can pass any function into it okay i can pass any function into it it need not be the fact function it can be any function okay okay i can pass any function into this percom uh, percom as in a dummy uh, uh, percom okay it because of this kind of uh, argument definition i ca- i have given over here now with this being said because of this 
uh, you can use this sub subroutine for do to do any kind of job any kind of job as long as the root uh, the order in this function is more or less fun subroutines more or less the same I think you guys I think you guys get the job okay suppose if ever uh, this fact is instead of factorial if I just say that this is like uh, n divided by n minus r okay this fact just returns the same value and this returns the same value let's say okay then this can then um, let's say fact int returns n itself and fact fact n minus r returns n minus r itself then this will be n divided by this permutation will permutation value will be n divided by n minus r and this will be per, per, per divided by r simple as that you can use any function uh, under under the, under the hood if you pass fact uh, if you pass this function as an external thing over here okay and uh, to show you guys this fact to show you guys this is different okay okay if i were to comp if i were to compile this it will throw an error stating that uh, uh, stating that uh, fact uh, fact one has no implicit type okay even if i define fact one over here fact one over here to compile this i still get an error okay and then i have to set everything to be fact one fact one over here if i were to compile this that part that part uh, does not have any issue but it's okay there, there are some parts in the there is a problem on the part top but there is no issue over here okay and one more thing and one more thing uh, and one more thing okay suppose if you were to use a certain function intrinsic fu okay okay let me compile this okay no issue no issue just no just a warning but okay nothing to worry suppose uh, if i were to uh, ignore this fact external keyword over here if i just include this into into just integer fact like this if i were to compile this build this and run this i get a se i get a segment a segment fault error okay this is getting a segmentation fault error because this function is kind of working like a dummy argument uh, use this in as a dummy argument so it's kind of having some internal issues which kind of uh, break it break the uh, executable so it's the executable becomes crashed okay for this function if this function it is necessary to put the external argument for the function like this even if sign is uh, not defined as external and if i were to run and build and execute this it'll just it'll th okay hold on i think let me uh, run this properly run this properly okay uh, there should not be two of them over here sorry if i were to run this compile build and run this okay it, now it's working fine okay now if i were to now if i were to uh, remove this up and include this over here if I run compile build and run this it will still work fine okay so it will work fine so what you notice is that sometimes for functions even if you don't include the external parameter they will work nicely but uh, it uh, to our but for this function if we try if when we try the same it throw up it throw up a warning so uh, based on the kind of based on the nature of the function uh, it is b based on the nature based on the kind of nature of the function uh, you can you can skip this external keyword if the functions are outside the program but in general practice it is recommended to put external external keyword if the functions are outside the program or well inside the program regardless of their nature just as a caution just as a precautionary check okay and now one more thing is that okay one more thing is that uh, if i were to uh, include this sign function as an intrinsic and i'm already using the sign function over here you will get some problem we will get some problem watch okay okay uh, if i'm using the i'm setting this intrinsic function sign to be the intrinsic function i'm using the sign over here and i'm setting the sign function over here i'm using this si any function and i'm passing sign itself as the argument over here okay if i were to you know uh, there might s there might be some errors over here issues over here i'll i'll watch it, i'll tell you guys how this happens okay and uh, okay now let me just uh, 777 uh, star.ss let me just give this an executable issue executable with the power 
if I were to execute this, if I were to execute this, this looks this looks fine. Okay, some sometimes this looks fine, but uh, what happens is that sometimes you might get an error. Uh, so okay, sometimes you might get an uh, sometimes you might get an error or a code crash or something of that sort. Okay, code crash or something of that sort. If I were to execute this again, it works fine. Okay, now if I were to change this value to you know five and three, okay, if I were to compile, if I were, if I were to you know uh, run this, okay. It's all running fine, but sometimes what happens is that if you do not do the if the if generating variables are different or something of that sort, uh, I mean, even if the values if you change the values or something and they still run it, uh, for this kind of a case, we are using a function. Uh, okay, this kind of okay. Let me see. I I just made this. Okay looks fine if I have to come build this it looks fine okay really do I yeah. okay not bad but okay if I were to set this to one let's say I'm just uh, exp experimenting things over here if I were to this okay it is getting changed Okay, sometimes uh, in some versions of Fo versions of Fortran, it is not required to uh, you know set if if you're using the function already, you don't have to define this intrinsically like this. That is, but uh, if I were to do the same with cos, okay, compile this, I'll get an error. Okay, uh, since I've used sign here already, if I were to compile this, this doesn't show me an error because even when these are commented out. So this is a kind of an observation you have to keep in mind and uh, this may be useful, this can be useful uh, uh, depending on your application. Well, uh, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Uh, hope I didn't bore you guys with a lot of, de bore you guys with this examples. Uh, this is kind of a uh, uh, thing that you have to keep in mind uh, when you when you have an SSD to pass other fun when intrinsic and other other functions into and other more functions of subroutines okay thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys next time bye